I'm Michael Doyle, Director of Purchasing a Guitar Centre. The plan was not to keep it in the vault for its whole life. The plan was to actually put it on display someplace. But we haven't touched it. We haven't changed the specification at all. These are the original strings and everything is the same as the way we got it at the Christie's auction. We need to get that shot first. The note is cut, um, I would say very low. My name is Todd Krause, I'm a senior master builder with the Fender Custom Shop. See, there's something interesting going on here. Well, these two are different. I have been given the opportunity to maybe perhaps drill in the wrong place, help replicate this guitar. Take the pickguard off first, neck off. Let's do the neck first. This is the one you've all been waiting for. Ever since Fender started doing a relic, the, the grumblings have been, when are you going to do a Blackie? This is what gives a guitar its personality, is, is the night after night on, on the stage being handled by the same person. It gets, it gets certain nicks and certain wear and, and just certain, uh, it takes on a personality of its own. I mean, there's, yeah, looky there. Changed, yeah, yeah. So they had to have been. It looks gold, don't it? Yeah, it does. Kind of but it's does, definitely yeah. not like the others. Well, an F key? Yep. All right, guys, thanks. thanks. See you later. I work with, with uh, nine very passionate builders, and, and I think that friction is, is what makes us do the job that we do. But uh, we're, we're going to put our heads together, and, and we're going we're gonna to replicate this guitar the best way that we know how. Well, I think that that's going to be the major test of uh, the Fender Custom Shop, is to pull that off, would be to say, can you tell the difference between the most famous guitar in the world and a copy of it? Obviously, there's no better place than Fender and the Custom Shop to pull that off, and I have every confidence that Fender will, because they, they started doing that sort of thing, and it's in many ways, it's the the pinnacle, if you will, of, of, a, of a relics guitar to age an instrument such that even Eric Clapton's happy with the, the results of it. Back to the Guitar Centre, but it was a good thing that uh, that you guys could, you know, Fender the Guitar Centre could get together to create this uh, this project and really, really, really nail it. I mean, they give you access to the instrument and, and give you a bit of input, and uh, and the rest is down to you. But some of these techniques that you're talking about and, and stuff like that, it's very difficult to sit and figure out. You know, you're beating your brains out, but how am I going to get this dead tits and how am I going to do it dead right? You know. Just the trial and error thing, you know. And, and, the, and the problem is, is you don't have 50 of them there to, to no, where you can make 50 mistakes and it's like, oh, here it is. That's actually not fake rust, that's real rust. I'm kind of excited about the fact that I got to put some of the innards of this guitar into this guitar too as well. The only thing we had trouble obtaining is the copper, which I hear at this point is on its way. It's an honor. Um, it's an honor and, and a mammoth challenge. It's uh, fantastic work, and I, I really can't wait to see the finished product. I'm hoping that I can give Eric this guitar back.
that he's given. 